In my family, it took just one generation to go from segregation to the Supreme Court of the United States. The White House celebrating Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson one day after her historic confirmation to the U.S. Supreme Court. With just two black justices and four women, the court will become the most diverse body in its 233-year history. Many Virginians also celebrating her confirmation. Our Cameron Thompson joins us now with that part of our coverage. Cam. Yeah, and Leland talking about some of the historic natures of her ascension to the Supreme Court, not only being the first African-American woman, but the first with a, a background as being a public defender. Today, I'm honored to officially introduce to you the next Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, Ketanji Brown Jackson. At a celebration in the White House Rose Garden Friday, President Joe Biden introduces the 116th Supreme Court Justice in the bench's history. It has taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to be selected to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. And with Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's confirmation. But we've made it. It is one that makes history on several levels, including that she is the first black woman in this position. We now will have a court that brings more perspectives that are that are needed. Reflecting on the confirmation, Virginia State Senator Jennifer McClellan says it's important because people's views are shaped by their life experience. It also matters for uh, society to see a court that more accurately reflects the diversity of this of this country. McClellan adds it also sends a strong message to black women. Uh, I think now um, you know, black girls everywhere will know uh, that they belong. Jackson is also the first former public defender on the Supreme Court and Brad Haywood, the chief public defender in Arlington County and Falls Church, says it brings professional diversity. He says public defenders have learned to question what seems to be a default trust placed in what police or governments say. So now we have somebody in the room, like we have a really great person who's in the room who's going to be able to represent, I think, the side that, that we see and the side that a lot of people maybe don't fully appreciate uh, and don't fully appreciate as necessary in order to achieve uh, just results. Haywood says a lack of people with a public defender background on the bench is an issue across the judicial spectrum and credits the Biden administration for making it one they've tried to address. Finally, to have somebody, you know, a black woman uh, who has public defender experience, uh, she just brings a whole different perspective to the table. And it's I think it's it is going to um, have a huge impact in the Supreme Court, so we're thrilled that it's happening. Now, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine, who voted for Judge Jackson, also held a roundtable talking about the confirmation and raising some of the things he feels will make her a good addition, including talking about not only being a public defender, but having been a trial judge, and says he feels that she will do a superb job on the bench.